Are we good? Yeah. I can't hear you guys. How are you guys doing? Yeah. I don't have a good uh, memory, so I brought a notebook with jokes. Has kittens on it. I love kittens. Anybody here like kittens? Woo! Yeah? There's my people. <laughs> I came appropriately dressed for Easter. I'm a giant Easter egg. I bathed in vinegar, so I smell like one too. Just for you guys. You guys over there. So, um, I think homeless people don't spend enough time picking out a correct font for their sign. Okay? It's all about marketing. You're on a street corner. You're trying to get money. You got a, a piece of people. Helvetica. I'd go to way better, I think. Artsy town. If we didn't have shoulders, V-necks would be really inappropriate skirts. <laughs> Ran out hips, you know. Or a kilt. And they have terrible pockets. Sleeves. Nice. Lose everything. See, I keep looking down at this. But I don't, I don't smoke weed, you know? So, I don't have a memory problem. I think when you smoke weed, you just forget where you put things. You know, it's not that I have a memory problem of remembering things. So I know where my keys are. In my pocket. My pocket. That pocket. <laughs> Octopuses would make incredible DJs. <coughs> so would a one-armed man play. Skrillex, anybody hear of him? Anybody know who Skrillex is? Yeah. Yeah, we got a few people. Yeah. He's a guy that does uh, dubstep. Anybody know what dubstep is? Oh, yes. Yeah. Dubstep, I don't like it. <laughs> Seriously, it sounds like a cranky woman having an argument with a garbage disposal. It's true. It's true. I got really excited the other day. Uh, my buddy bought a chocolate lab, he told me, until I found out it was a dog. Man. We were both really sad when we found out that it didn't taste anything like chocolate. I want some one for the dog lovers. Actually, I used to own a dog. Then I had to get it fixed. Now it's a cat. Problem solved. These jokes are working. This is awesome. Where's the uh, flashlight at? Where's the flashlight person at? Right there. Alright. Uh-oh. He gave me one flash. I think I one minute. <laughs> kids are smarter these days. Uh, my friend's kid, he's about 10 years old. He, he asked uh, his dad if he could get a new MacBook, right? The dad's smart. He's, he's like, no son. Mine doesn't grow on trees. The kid responds. He's 10 years old. Get this. But apples do, Dad. <laughs> Smart kid. Kids are all about the swagger these days, you know? It's like, a little kid comes up to me, he's like, Mr. Josiah, I got more swagger than you! And I'm like, listen, kid. I got so much swagger that when I was boarded in the airplane, the flight attendant told me I needed to check my swaggage because it wouldn't fit in the overhead compartment. He cried. She looks at boom. She laughed. So I told the flight attendant. Back to the joke now, right? Tell the flight attendant. Okay, no problem. Shut it! Man, nobody got that. That's the little. Who's, where's the other guy that was talking about drinking? The other comedian. Where's he? Is he still here? You still here? I don't hear him. All right. Well, I don't drink. I'm dying of thirst right now. <laughs> I was uh, shopping with my buddy Abdul. He's Mid he's Middle Eastern the other day, and um, he wanted to get a nice new hipster matching scarf to go with his turban. And, uh, you know, we're two fashionable guys. The only place that we could think to go is Turban Outfitters. <laughs> he found exactly what he needed. He's looking great. 
<laughs> Thanks for asking. Hey, Ethan. That's my friend. Excellent. You're not filming. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, you're yeah. well, um, When I was uh, on a date, I was cooking dinner for this girl, and uh, I opened the fridge. And I told her, you're probably wondering why I have expired milk in my fridge. And I'm a bachelor. But she's like, uh, no, not really, but, but why? Now that you bring it up. Well, I told her that when I was younger, my grandmother breastfed me. And to this day, I still like the old stuff. <laughs> You know, when you, when you get on a plane, you're always uh, hoping that the cute girl will sit next to you, right? <laughs> Never happens. Always some big, overweight, everything, lame, uh, <laughs> takes up your seat and his seat. It's a problem, really. He needs to get one of these extension things. So I was sitting down on this flight once. This guy named Bob sits down next to me. I just thought I'm going to have some fun because he's already bothered me by coming over onto my side. So I'm going to play a prank on him. The plane starts uh, getting ready to take off. I decide I'm going to set, set the scene for him, right? I lean over and I say, this is my first flight. I'm a bit nervous. And Bob leans over, he's like, that's all right. More people die in cars than airplanes. So that's comforting. And, uh, well, so, Engines start turning on. That moment, I decide to swing the armrest down between us and grab it with my claws. He looks over. He notices. He looks back. Okay, the plane starts to take take to the runway. I start scratching at it. Right, I'm setting the scene for him. The plane starts taking off. We're climbing. We got the G forces pushing us back in our seats. Right. All of a sudden. I look, bro, I look over at him, and then I really scramble for the bark back, right? As I'm scrambling for it, I fling, he's, he, by the way, he's in the middle seat, I'm in the aisle seat. I fling the bark back over his lap, trying to scramble for it. Thanks. No, I'm not. I saw the light. I was so free. So I fling the bark back over him, and I give him this look. You've never seen confusion to fear happen so fast in one man's face. He scrambles for the bar back as I start laughing, <laughs> laughing, and he throws up. <laughs> never again will I pull that prank. Never again. Alright, so my time's almost up. I want to try one thing with you guys. I bought this book at Goodwill called Six Degrees to Kevin Bacon. You're apparently able to get the Kevin Bacon in six degrees of any actor. I might not be able to do six degrees, but I'm going to get there. You guys ready? Ready to take this journey with me? Yeah? I'm going to hear you. Yeah! All right. We're living in Eugene, which is the home of the Ducks. Yeah! They play at Matt Knight Arena. All right. Which was purchased by Phil Knight who owns Nike, they make sneakers for our feet, you chop one of them off, you have a terrible case of the footloose, starring Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Kevin Bacon, mmm, bacon and eggs. Hop on over to Cadbury Eggs, happy Easter, everybody, that's my set. <laughs>